Some people might think you're off your rocker. Time for dinner! Okay. But I had a friend that told me that when you're a bereaved mother, you get a wide latitude for craziness. <laughs> and I always took comfort in that, that if anyone felt that it was unhealthy, you know, I could just say, I'm a bereaved mother, what do you expect? <laughs> this is Jesse, this is his namesake. We, uh, the, within our family, we just decided after he passed away that somebody's kid should carry on the name. When Josh first died, I didn't want to hear about anybody else's grief. Give me a break. I couldn't have done. I just could not have heard beyond my own pain. The thing about losing a child is it, it has a sort of nightmare quality to it. It's just like a loss of identity and a confusion and just a sense of disbelief. My son, Josh, is dead. first time I laughed, I thought, what a horrible person I was to laugh when my child had died. I didn't want to enjoy anything or eat the foods that he liked or do anything because he couldn't do it. My grief is sacred. My love for my son is sacred. And the night Jordan died, we were laying there in bed, and she looked at me and she said, Daniel, this is not good for our marriage. Statistically, people who lose children don't stay together. Statistical. I screamed out at one point just because your kid dad doesn't make you queen over everyone else. You know, the rest of us don't have to bow down and take your shit because your kid's dead. And the self destructive bit, you know, what's that about for you? Wanting to die. Just wanting to die. Anything to stop the pain. Everybody seemed to struggle with this same question of how to fit in. And I kept thinking, isn't this mad? We're bereaved parents, and yet we are desperately trying to fit in. You have to come to grips with your helplessness around it. No one can take it away. You can't bypass it. I mean, you read about this in the grief books. Lean into the grief. <laughs> and I never knew what the heck that meant. But I think I'm starting to figure it out. Each stage along the way, I've had moments, and there's a bittersweetness always present because Josh isn't here. I want him standing beside me, and I want to be able to give him a big squeeze and a big cuddle and feel his big, tall body and, you know, give it, give it a hug. <laughs>